time code has an error. It won't pass. So the test will tell us there is an error on the spine coil. If there is a problem with the foot or the elco coil, it won't pass. If this uh, test pass, means the coil is working correctly. So we need to find out is it an improper patient positioning or maybe there is a dust or there is a fluid or water or urine under my coil. So you need to check all those. Or there is anything close to the magnet. Why am I getting an artifact? So the real reason of doing the coil test to ensure that is my coil working properly or is no error concerning my coil. Back off. Yeah. Thank you for the good information and I've asked you to explain it because <laughs> I know you are so stubborn but <laughs> when they come to your site. <laughs> yeah, I usually tell Nako whenever he comes, let's yeah. test each and every coin. Yes. Because we have uh, sent patients back home for the <coughs> test for the PM MRI. So you have ample time. Let's start with the spine coil, let's go with the head coil, let's do the flexible. When he goes out of my sight, he's going to sign. All the coils are correct. So you can test multiple coils or whatever, one at a time. <laughs> he hates the spine coil because you need to move uh, from <laughs> S1 to S6. Yeah, yeah you know. need to move the from, from uh, spine 1 to spine 6, so it's kind of boring. And um, each test in the spine takes 5 minutes. So you sit down, so wait for the five minutes. Spine is written five minutes. <laughs> yep. But you are going to move. Yeah. Up to six depends on the. So <coughs> two three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem of the test of this test, if there is uh, any incident happen or, or the the coil has an issue in a certain uh, maybe uh, element, it doesn't tell you during the test, to wait until it's finished. Mm -hmm. So if the test takes 30 minutes, so you need to wait for, you have to the wait minutes. for 30 minutes, <laughs> then oh, the coil uh, test failed, then yeah. what is the problem? Maybe it's failed on the element two, so you have to figure out why is it failing on element two. Again, before ah. doing anything, you have to repeat the test. So you have one, <laughs> another 30 minutes to wait. I hate this kind of test. Yeah. So that's why I really like to teach the user if I am on site so they can help me to do the test while I'm doing other stuff. Yeah. So the importance of doing this test also, as uh, Malik said, uh, you know, sometimes users mistakenly handling the contrast. 